Hello students, this is going to be a very short video in which I'm going to address the quick things that you should be doing and you could be doing if you are giving the entrance examination, be it the NEET or be it the MHCET, which is going to be in the next three odd weeks. Are you ready? So the very first thing that you should be doing is to remove every distraction from your life, be it your cell phone, be it your social media or whatever, you know, or maybe your boyfriend or girlfriend also, whatever, whatever that distraction could be. So distract your distraction, which means uh, get off social media for some time, put your phone on airplane mode when you're studying, tell your to not disturb you during that particular phase, you know, all of those things, uh, which you know is distracting you, put them off for some time. And here's the second one, plan your time well. You can do everything, you can play, spend time with everybody, you can watch movies, but the distractive things are not more than enough, because the shakkar is also a shame. So don't do anything too much, plan your time well, squeeze in more time, plan your time well, that's my second thing. So, you know, in the previous videos, we've given you time lapse, of uh, how your timetable should be and how you should do everything and so you can refer one of those old videos and plan your time well plan your time well so talking of time 10 to 1 every day should be the time that you are supercharged and super powerful that's the time you can't sleep you should not feel tired you should not feel bored because main examination lagbhag is time range ke andar hai correct so that's your time when you should be like in full power so usi tarah se padhai karo always put your study slot in that time 10 to 1 be your best motivate yourself and stay in your meditative zone throughout this period which means listen to more music go calm go for evening walks if you have a beach nearby use that you know uh, energize your inner self with the right meditation plug in go calm meditate there are some videos in which i've told how to meditate if you want those links are also there in the description there's a video called as focus like arjuna that's a good one um, meditate go calm because that will help you improve your inner self and add more core value to your participation during this phase. And uh, there are times that you will feel bored while studying. There are times that you may feel low while you are studying. There are times that you may feel that kuch bhi nahi chal rahe, sab kuch kaam ka nahi hai and so that. But that's the time you need to snap out of it quickly and remind yourself your main goals, your important goals. And that's the very time you need to remind yourself how powerful you are as a human being and how important your goals are and what you see in the future very importantly snap out during all the times when you feel negative or when you feel low keep a friend circle who will motivate you go back to your parents and talk to them or maybe your teachers and talk to them remember to snap out of every negative boredom situation and you need to come into your full resource and full power well wake up this is the time when you can revise and you should revise and remind yourself all the very reason why you've taken science remind yourself of all the times that the future will hold for you which is going to be great and wow so studying is going to be the key for the next three odd weeks. So studying is important, but studying the right books is more important. Studying from the right books for the right amount of time is more important. So you see, it's not just studying, it's studying the right thing. Okay, it's not just studying the right thing, it's studying the right thing for the right time time it's not about just solving 10 papers it's about solving the right 10 papers it's not just about beginning to solve the papers it's about solving it in the right way for the right number of time so you see you see the balance over here the balance over here is to is to study the right thing from the right source for the right number of time don't leave early don't break the practice in between so the right reference from the right book for the right number of time. And uh, this is my next tip for you. Be wise to revise. Revise as much as possible. Uh, in the three weeks, don't touch anything new now. Revise. Spend a lot of time in revision and just revise. Revise formulas, revise equations, revise from the right reference books. And uh, remember that it's a jungle out there. And it's a, it's a game where only the fit will survive. It's a survival for the fittest. Success includes some ingredients. It includes sweat, 
tears and blood it includes that commitment and there is no room for anxiety or or fear remember you have to be filled with gratitude and that's the way you will motivate yourself regularly to be number one to be the ace in the game you don't have a choice if you have to win you have to it's it's a mind game you have to be fresh up here you have to be strong up here you have to be stable you have to rightly balance on the blade of life and there is no way you can you can drop this balance so stay fit mentally and only only and only if you're mentally fit you can stay survive this game physically and you can win the big battle and soon it's gonna be the examination day it's gonna be a day when you pick up your final hall ticket and go for the big ex examination and that day remember to stay calm put in your best foot ahead don't get anxious don't get disturbed stay focused stay in full control there, there may be a question which is troubling you or maybe tough but don't react to that respond to it nicely I would like to wish you all the very best from my entire team we would like to wish you all the very best do well go calm come back successful write to us and let us know if you really liked this 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 video which we've created tell us uh, whether you want an additional video do share this video uh, subscribe to the channel that's the only way we can reach out to more and more children uh, help umang foundation trust uh, just by a 10 rupee or a 20 rupee which you can donate the link is down with your money we reach out with academic content to the poor kids across the country we give them books your books you can give it to us after you finish this academic year and what more we can send it down to all the places in the country where these kids study and they do not have resources or infrastructure